Good morning and welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a long time, but we are back. We are in, I'd like to say sunny, but it's actually overcast Fort Lauderdale today. And we are going on another cruise. Today, our adventure takes us on Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas. So this is one of Royal Caribbean's newest ships and we're excited to go check it out. Uh, we've never done a Quantum Class ship before. Uh, we're headed down to Aruba and Curacao and then back up to Coco Cay. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's, uh, we're getting ready to pack up the car and head over to the port and let's have a great day and a great trip. All right, we got the car packed up. And I would say we're getting ready to head over to the port. However, we have to go by Walmart first because my stupid self forgot bathing suits. Kind of important for our cruise. Got some breakfast at Lester's again. We've eaten here before. We actually went to a different one than the last time we went to. We made it to Walmart. Let's hope they've got some bathing suits. All right, got some bathing suits and some other things we forgot. Lily, any words? Still, still a gal, a few words. And there she is back there in the back. Odyssey of the Seas, here we come. All right, we just got all the bags dropped off. Time to go take the rental car back and then we'll get on board. Super excited about this one. Uh, it's a new ship that we've never been on before, never been on this class of ships. Uh, we really want to go to Alaska, and if you do that, you most likely are going to go on a quantum class ship as well. And so this would be a very good preview of that uh, if we were able to make that happen one day. So it's going to be really cool to check out. Uh, we're going to do some skydiving, indoor skydiving. Uh, we'll probably take the, uh, the thing that goes up over top of the ship as well. And uh, we've got a bunch of friends, so we've got like 12 or 15 people uh, all together as a group. So it should be a good time. So let's go get this rental car dropped off so we can get back to the ship and start our vacation. Yes. Over there we've got the Disney Dream hanging out with us today. Bye bye rental car. Bye bye. Alright, we just made it through security. Time to go up the gangway and we are on the ship. the gangway we go here we go we are on board Odyssey of the Seas Woo! Lily's unenthused got a nice little balloon what's going on here this is a different entrance kind of way compared to Harmony or Freedom was. No, yeah, you're fine. Interesting. Comes out into like the hallway instead of into like a grand foyer or anything. Right, so first thing we see after the elevators is the schooner bar. We're walking through. Like I said, this is very different compared to the other ships we've been on where um, you kind of go right straight out into a foyer kind of main area. I would assume this means, yeah, we're right above the Royal Esplanade because here's the Bionic Bar up here. So we're going to try to find our muster station and then head upstairs to the nursery. All right, let's check out our room here. Can you help? All right. Got a little sleeper sofa here. All right, looking outside here on our balcony. We've got a princess ship here with us, and then over there we've got a celebrity ship. I think there's another celebrity ship back there in the back as well. Won't be long now, we will be headed out to sea. Alright, popped up to Windjammer to get a small bite to eat. And it's, uh, as usual, pretty busy. All right, been running around. We got some food at Windjammer. Lily's down for a nap and I've run down here and this is our first look at the Royal Esplanade. So the Quantum Class ships do not have a Royal Promenade. They have an Esplanade. Uh, it's a bit of a controversial thing on a lot of ships, but uh, this is the first look at it. They've got all the Christmas decorations out. Got the Royal Caribbean shop, merchants, Starbucks. Oh yes, Sorrento. We will definitely be going over to Sorrento's later. And then over here we got a bunch of shops and everything. Along with the uh, the pub. 
and some more shops as it kind of winds around here. Definitely a little bit different. And then upstairs you have more. One of the first things I noticed right off is a lot of the comments about the Royal Esplanade says it's kind of tight and it's compact and it winds, which is different than say um, the Royal Promenades on some of the other ships. And I can definitely see that. It's a little bit tighter and the way it winds, it's not as open and, and it's just different. So throughout the week, we'll see how we like it or not. Um, and we'll make some judgments at the end of the week. I'm making my way back here to Giovanni's to uh, try to get our reservations taken care of. Wonderful little uh, like atrium area here. wonderful area that overlooks the dining room so you've got three four and five right there with Giovanni's right there in the background all right reservation has been made so a couple more little errands to run and then we finally kind of get to settle in and hopefully our bags will be delivered by them oh the exploring continues looking down over the splash away bay and the lime and coconut bar and you know what I had to do right I had to go by the bionic bar already get the day started right one of the coolest things about the Quantum Class is the Cplex, which is the indoor sports court, and Playmakers is up above, and right now they're getting ready to have bumper cars. Matt and Ryan going after it. Ryan's driving. Jess is over there. Boom. Logan and James are out here somewhere too. All right, we're just taking a few minutes to chill out here before dinner. Lily is apparently making a phone call. Uh, just kind of hanging out. We've got a few of our friends have already left. I don't know if you can see them way off in the distance out there. I know the New Holland ship left and one of the celebrity ships left, but our pals and Princess and the other celebrity ship are still here. And I think the Disney ship, I think Disney's still down there uh, waiting to head out to. Almost time to head down to dinner and uh, it's a gorgeous sunset though. Look at that. Almost time to head down for dinner and we'll see what the rest of the night gets for us. Got some crab cake over here. Had to get the prime rib. All right, guys, I did a terrible job of vlogging dinner. Uh, when there's 15 people there at the table, it's a little overstimulating. Uh, but had the crab cake with the prime rib and uh, some key lime pie and cheesecake for dessert. Yes, I doubled up on dessert. Um, and it was a little slow for the first night, but we're going to chalk that up to being night one and having, again, a table of 16 people or whatever it was. But going to try to go explore a little bit before Lily goes to bed and check out everything. Lilybug got a ducky. Somebody gave her a ducky. And she's just chewing away on it. Back for round two. At the bionic bar. Hopped outside and we found the sty pad. Fun pack is no longer operational. Lawsuits and whatnot. But... Oh no! Ducky gone! Ducky down! Oh, we got it. Oh. We... Alright. We are we're on the move. We are at sea and it is windy. Found a rock climbing wall and whatever this is, some sort of a cat or something, but it's, yeah, it's, it's roses. I'm sure they're not real, but. Yeah. That's kind of cool with the Odyssey logo up there at the top. Yeah, definitely not real. There's Florida, way off in the distance. Getting further and further away. Got a few friends out there leading the way. Got the North Star over here. And then the pool deck is all, all lit up as well for the night. Looking fun. Hey, how are you? 
one of the fun little features about cruise ships, they like to change the day in the elevators. So today is Saturday, and at midnight, and they will come in here and change this in every elevator. Mm -hmm. right, it's Ducky down here at Splash Away Bay. Got the kids area here. Looking nice. I think Miss Lily will enjoy this. All right, we just got Lily down to sleep, and now I'm gonna head back out and try to catch the comedian, and I don't know from there. I don't know how late we'll be up tonight. It's been a long day, so we'll see what else we get into. Stumbled onto this interesting feature right here in one of the main stairways. Don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's very pretty. It actually goes all the way down, too. to grab a pina colada at some point. Mm. Hang out in this bar and just enjoying life. Grandparents and guardians control the behavior of their children during this performance. And as a final reminder, please ensure that I just went and saw the comedy show in the main theater. Uh, it was some guy who had been on King of Queens and uh, both Grown Ups movies. I'm gonna head upstairs to Playmakers, uh, grab one more drink, and hang out with a couple of the guys for a little bit, and then we're gonna call it a night. Down here in 270, a bunch of people are having a silent disco jam, and they're having the time of their lives. And we're sitting here waiting for the virtual fireworks at midnight. Sunday. That's going to do it for day one here on Odyssey of the Seas. Uh, come back and join us tomorrow for day two. We're going to be at sea as we're making our way down towards Curacao. No real plans, but we'll see what we get into. So come back and join us for day number two on Odyssey of the Seas. Thanks so much for watching.